Hi everyone. Did you know that one of the major power losses in a buck converter is in its rectification diode? I'm Anthony Huynh. In this video, we'll be examining the power losses associated with a buck converter rectification diode. We're then looking at a better solution, synchronous rectification, which eliminates the rectification diode, and we can see it improved the efficiency and thermal performance tremendously. Let's get in the lab. So let's uh, examine the efficiency and thermal differences between two converters. On my right is a buck converter impl implementing a very traditional non-synchronous solution a firm competitor. It is rated at 60 volts, 5 amp. Non-synchronous means that it needs a rectification diode to conduct the current during the off time. On my left side here, on my left hand here is Max 17 506, one of Maxim's Himalaya uh, wide input voltage synchronous buck converter. It is synchronous, also rated for 60 volts and 5 amp. And uh, with synchronous feature, we, we will show you that it performs a lot better in terms of efficiency and uh, power dissipation. So I have uh, two boards here connected to the same input source, 24 volt. 24 volt is a common industrial uh, input voltage. The Max 17 506 output voltage is shown here at five, sitting at five volts. And I load it at five amp. The comparator boards, output voltage is also five volt and also loaded at five amp. So you can see that we um, load the two boards in the same opening condition. The, the boards will, will need to take some time to, for the board temperature to stabilize. So let's wait 15 minutes to come back and so that we can measure the, um, the board temperature. So while waiting, let's review operation, um, some basic operations of the uh, buck converters. Let's prefer to these slides. So on these slides are basic operating waveforms of the buck converters. I'd like to get your attention to the left side, which is the uh, opening currents of the inductors. So during the on time, when the power switch S1 is on, the inductor current I1 flows from the input source to the output. During the off time, when the rectification diode S2 is on, the inductor current flows from this rectification switch to the output. So here on this slide, uh, the schematics on the right shows a non-synchronous buck converter where the rectification switch S2 is implemented using a rectification diode. Let's take an example with a typical industrial power source of 24 volt, a typical output voltage of 5 volt running at 5 amp loads. The rectification diode has a forward voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt at 5 amp. Switching duty cycle D in this case is V out over V in equals 21%, which means the rectification diode conducts the remaining, which is 79% of the time. The power dissipation in the rectification diode is the output currents times the diode forward voltage drops times the off time when the diode is conducting, which is 79% in this case. This amounts to a whopping 2.8 watts that is dissipated as heat. The schematic on the left illustrates a much better solution, a synchronous buck converter where the diode is replaced by a synchronous rectification fed. With R on of only 19.5 milliohm, the power dissipation in this synchronous switch is only 0.4 watt. That is 0.4 watts with synchronous rectification compared to 2.8 watts non-synchronous switching. All right, now we're done with the basic theory. I'm going to take some, uh, a quick break here to set up some thermal cameras so that we can do some measurements. Okay, 15 minutes have passed and the board temperature should stab stabilize by now. Uh, I've mounted two thermal cameras so that we can monitor the board's temperature. I had calcul calculated the efficiency of the non-synchronous solution to be 85%. And for the synchronous solution, 
uh, at 92%. Looking at the camera, the non-synchronous solution is running at about 67 degrees C. And for the synchronous solution, 48 degrees C. So that's a huge 20 degrees C difference. So to recap, the competing non-synchronous solution has 85% efficiency, 4.4 watts, total power dissipation, 2.8 watts, which came from the rectification diode. On the other hand, the MAX-17-506, featuring synchronous rectification, delivers 92% efficiency, dissipates only 2.2 watts, and only 0.4 watts came from the synchronous rectification fed. The benefits is 20 degrees C cooler operating temperature. As you already know, every 10 degrees C cooler operation doubles the life expectancy of the IC. So 20 degrees C cooler means the MAX-17-506 is expected to last four times, four times longer than the counterpart. Synchronous solution brings higher performance, lower thermal dissipation, but it's been limited to low input voltage only. Maximum Himalaya wide input uh, solution is the first in the industry to bring it up to 60 volts. Now you can find other wide input voltage uh, synchronous buck converters in the markets. On the right, on my right here is a uh, new, newer competitor parts. It is rated at 60 volts, 2 amps, synchronous. In a, uh, this is a 2 amps in a, it's in a 5 by 6.5 millimeter TSOP package. Um, on the left is the Max 17503. It's also rated for 60 volts. It can actually power up to 2.5 amp in a 4 by 4 millimeter TQFM package. That is more current in the half the size of the IC. Now I'm going to hook up the meters over to this board so that we, we can measure the, uh, to the so that we can measure their performance. Okay, so similar to the other setup, I've connected the boards to a common 24 volt input source. The outputs are at five volts, each loaded at two amps. The efficiency for the competitor products is at 84%. And the, for the MAX-17503 is 91%. Looking at the thermal camera, the comparator board is running at uh, 57 degrees C. And for MAX-17503 is 49.6. <laughs> so MAX-17503 uh, outperforms competition by dissipating only half the power dissipation. And it's board running at about 8 degrees C cooler. So in this video, you've seen the we will look at the power losses in a buck converters and see how Himalaya can help reduce power dissipation, improve efficiency, achieve cool operation, and long-term reliability. For more information, please visit www.maximintegrated.com slash Himalaya. I'm Anthony Huynh. See you next time.